his friend is so royal. So, um, today we're making a, a terrarium. Well, it's actually a post terrarium, so, like, it would, I would make a terrarium and then put it back on. And then, um, like, I put the cat back on, so basically what happens is that, like, there's bacteria and that breathes out oxygen. That breathes out carbon dioxide and the plants need oxygen, so they kind of feed each other. And um, basically, what you need is dirt. That's about it. And also, you need to have a lot of moss. You have some here. And then, see, I have different kinds. See, I have like these. white worm oh yeah but like he's he's 
there, I mean, you can definitely see him. So let's see. Maybe I'll make an update video like, in a while. But let's see if maybe we'll see him again. You never know. Um, Alright, so I wanted to plant these. Where'd they go? There, I had these um, little the pine ones. The pine ones. Oh, here it is. Alright, so. But I have a lot of it, so I'm gonna wait for a better one. Because that one kinda was like. Uh, but this one should be good. Uh, but it'll cover the ground so that's pretty good. Oh, so scared I just like smashed it so quick oh my God. so I'm just laying the bottom right now with the moss and uh, see I have these little ferns I'm gonna see if they'll take root because they might not they might and even if they don't take root like it'll still like decompose and then all the other plants could eat it but we'll find out so I'm just looking through what I got because I know I have some that I wanted to include. Yeah, they didn't eat it. Okay, yeah, this one. So I'm going to get a little piece. See, I like this one. Alright, guys, so I just wanted to share with you. Uh, so the ending of that last clip is uh, kind of like shitty. Couldn't get the worm out of this vase, so um, I don't, I don't want to keep you guys waiting, so I, I just paused it and ended it there, but basically what I did after that was I got the worm, which you don't really need worms, but I always think it's cool because it adds to the complexity of the ecosystem, but I just added the, um, the worm, I added a generous amount of water, and I closed it up, I 
made sure everything was like tight and that was basically it. But now I want to share um, some high def pictures of terrariums. That's the one in the video. That's the one that me and Roy made. And that is a little ketchup bottle one that another one me and Roy made. And uh, you're probably wondering what this big whatever it is is. So uh, basically what I made is a self cleaning aquarium. And in here I have a beta fish. And he's got some really nice colors on him. Anyway, um, so let's get to it. I'll show you how this works. I'm going to make a full video with a tutorial on how to make it. But I feed the beta that. The snail's in there, which is, there's a snail right there. I don't know if you see him too good, but he's a little thing with the swirliness on him. I have another mystery snail in there. And, um, yeah, so I'll teach you how it cleans itself. And I, have, I also have vines in there. Which are those vines that took a cutting from it and it's already taken root. That little moss ball, you see it? Um, it's basically like a natural filter. It picks up all the dirt, it absorbs it, and when it rises to the top, it's dirty. So then you take it in the sink, you squeeze it all out, and um, it's clean again, ready to like collect all the dirt. So it's basically like a ball of algae, but it's called a moss ball because that's the way it looks. Let's get to it. Alright, so look, you take this tube, and by the way, this tube is connected all the way to the bottom. See? It's like a leaf tree. But, um, it's facing down into the cap where all the dirt flows so basically what's gonna happen is this dirt is gonna come through here through the power of suction and it's gonna come right out and if we're below the level of the tank it'll start flowing out and um, the lower you have it the more it flows so see all that dirt already in there uh, I haven't cleaned it yet it's usually not this dirty the only problem today is that I fed them today, so um, see it's above the level now. I fed them. I mean, I fed the one fish. The snails will eat anything, but uh, yeah, I did feed that fish, so it would explain why it's dirty because he didn't eat all his flakes. Which, uh, yeah, they eat those. Potential. So yeah, and then you have to secure this. problems with this but there you have it guys water just leaked all over there I'll have that cleaned up soon um, so get ready for some high definition pictures of these terrariums so I'll uh, see you guys peace out